Hey there, thank you so much for joining. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a wonderful project on how to paint a cactus using your fingers. At Chroma, we have a range of brightly coloured, non-toxic paints that are fantastic for messy projects and expressive art creations. So let me introduce you to our Chroma Kids washable acrylics. These are brightly coloured, non-toxic, and most importantly, are very easy to wash off most surfaces. So let's have a look at what materials we'll need today. Firstly, we will need a nice set of five of our Chroma Kids washable acrylics. You will also need a canvas. You can paint on paper or cardboard for this as well, but today I'm using a stretched canvas. You'll need a palette or something to put your paints on. This could be a paper plate or again, an odd piece of cardboard. You'll need some paper towel or some rag. And lastly, you'll need a pencil. The first step is using the lead pencil to draw on an outline of the cactus. If you'd like a guide, print out this drawing of a cactus to copy from. Squeeze out a large quantity of white, red and yellow onto your palette. I find having the colours in a line across the edge of the palette gives the most room to mix. Using your finger or paintbrush, mix together the white and yellow to create a light yellow. In a separate area, mix together the white and red to create a light pink colour. Starting at the bottom of the sky, apply the light yellow paint with your finger in little curved marks. Overlap these light yellow marks with white. Using the pink colour, layer on the paint in the same way as the light yellow in little curved patterns. As you reach the top of your canvas, interweave the pink with red and yellow. Wipe your finger clean with a cloth or paper towel. Squeeze a large amount of blue and yellow onto your palette. Refill the white if you've run low. Mix the blue with the yellow in equal parts to make a green colour. To the side of this green colour, mix in a little bit more yellow to create a yellowish green. On the other side of your green colour, mix in blue to create a bluish green. If you would like more lightness in your colours, you can also mix in a bit of white. Using the bluish green colour on your finger, draw a squiggly line down the right side of the cactus. Repeat this on the arms of the cactus remaining on just the right side. On the middle of the cactus, draw another squiggly line with green paint. Then on the left side, use the yellowish green to draw a squiggly line. The cactus should now be fully covered with three variations of green. Squeeze out some black onto your palette. Using plain black, fill in the ground beneath the cactus. Cut the paint generously, then smear it around. Dip your finger into the black and apply little black dots or little dashes to your cactus to make the little spikes. Wipe your finger clean and do the same thing with little bits of white paint, placing them on in little dashes to create little spikes. Set your painting aside to dry. Wash your hands with soap and water and enjoy your gorgeous artwork. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to get your hands dirty in making a finger painting cactus. So with that said and done, get out there and get creative.